Today we will be going over some very basic information about solutions. A solution is going to be a homogeneous mixture of one or more solutes in a solvent. The solute and solvent must be of like kinds because like dissolves like. Now I know at this point this sentence makes almost absolutely no sense to you, so we're going to go over some basic definitions that we're going to need to know to attack the solutions unit. The very first definition that we're going to be covering is that of solution. A solution is going to be a mixture where you cannot see the constituent parts that make it up. So this means that you cannot tell the difference between one piece of the mixture and another. They look the same throughout. This is because a solution has to be homogeneous, also uh, said as homogeneous. I just particularly like pronouncing it as homogeneous because I like to emphasize the part of the word that helps us know what it means. Homo means same and homogeneous means that I'm going to be the same throughout. So a solution is a homogeneous mixture as opposed to a heterogeneous mixture. Hetero means different, and so you can see the pieces that make it up. So a solution must be homogeneous or homogeneous, meaning I cannot tell the difference between the individual pieces that make it up. If I can tell the difference, then I am a heterogeneous mixture, and that means I am not a solution. Next, we are going to uh, discuss that other word that I kept saying, which was mixture. A mixture is going to be two or more substances that are mixed together without reacting or bonding to form something new. So even though I have combined a couple of things or more, they have not fundamentally changed what they are and they maintain their own identity. Next is going to be that of solute. Solutes are going to be the part of the mixture that I have less of. This is generally, but not exclusively, the solid portion of the mixture. And the solvent is going to be the part of my mixture that I have more of. Now the way that I like to remember the difference between solute and solvent is that solute has six letters whereas solvent has seven. And so solute is literally a smaller word and solute is less than, it's a thing that I have less of than my solvent, which is a bigger word. Next is that like dissolves like piece. So like dissolves like is specifically referring to polarity. A uh, Nonpolar substance cannot form a solution with a polar substance. They must be of the same kind. They have to either be both nonpolar or both polar in order for it to work. Uh, this is just an interaction based off of uh, their charges. If I'm polar, that means I have slight charges. I have a partial positive and partial negative portion of my uh, compound. Whereas if I am nonpolar, I have an even sharing of electrons and I do not have those charges anywhere in my compound. And the like dissolving like thing is actually why oil and water do not mix. Oil is a nonpolar substance, whereas water is polar. And since they are not of like kinds, they do not mix. Next is going to be that of the universal solvent. So uh, my universal solvent, this is generally going to be referring to water. Um, water can dissolve, dissolve a significant number of things. It's very impressive. And since it can dissolve a lot of things, it is our default solvent. Meaning that if I am talking about whether something can dissolve, I am most likely going to be uh, using water as my solvent. Next is going to be electrolyte. An electrolyte is going to probably be a word that you have heard generally in commercials for things like uh, sports drinks. But electrolytes, what they really are, is going to be an ionic or a polar covalent compound that is dissolved in water normally because water is the universal solvent that can conduct electricity. 
Okay, so electrolytes, whenever you see uh, commercials and they're bragging about how many electrolytes they have, what they're really bragging about is that they have salt inside of their drink and they can conduct electricity. Now, I'm not saying that as if that was not important, your body needs electrolytes in order to function. I just want you to understand exactly what they are uh, advertising. So my electrolyte can conduct electricity. So you can see the electro part and electricity and electrolyte are the same. So you can kind of remember it that way that electrolytes conduct electricity. The opposite of an electrolyte would be a non-electrolyte and non-electrolytes are generally nonpolar compounds and they cannot conduct electricity.